Yo, what's up everyone? Welcome back to Yazak Reacts, the channel where my chair is just a little bit too high off of the ground, so my feet kind of just don't touch it. Like, I'm, they're slightly suspended in the air, and it's <laughs> kind of uncomfortable, actually. Anyways, uh, today I plan to react to a video by The Stellar J. Uh, I've actually seen a couple of his videos before. Uh, spoiler. But not this one. The State of Wizard Games. Now, what is a wizard game? Well, I think... Uh, there's not even a point in trying to figure it out before we start. We will we'll start watching and everything's gonna make sense because that's how a good video is supposed to be. There were four types of kids in my school growing up. Kids obsessed with dinosaurs, kids uh, kid, kids obsessed there were four with cum. Types of kids that, in my school growing up. That's kids me. I'm I'm the cum guy. Kids obsessed with dinosaurs, kids obsessed with sports, kids obsessed with the Hunger Games, and kids obsessed with Harry Potter. I was neither actually. I, I was um what was I actually? I was obsessed with <laughs> with Minecraft, I think. <laughs> I was obsessed uh, with having no friends. Hey, let's go! When I first he saw just like me for real. Voldemort fight at the end of the Order of the Phoenix, my family had to take me to a hospital because I lost consciousness after all the blood in my brain rushed straight to my penis. I wonder if there's a medical term for that. Erectile shit, dysfunction. <laughs> Prior, but like in a good way, right? Where it just like it's too hard. It's still a dysfunction, just in a, in in a different way, I think. I think that term applies, kind of. Is. Both of them start by shooting the same boring laser beam that we see with every other fight in this series, but Voldemort quickly realizes that the killing curse alone will not be enough to win, so he's forced to get creative. The motherfucker breathes fire and then warps it into a giant lava snake which lunges at Dumbledore, who absorbs the flames and- Right, it's it's a pretty common move we see nowadays in, in manga and shit. Uh, fire dragons, uh, fucking animals made of, made of spells. He directs them right back. Then before you even have time to comprehend what just happened, Dumbledore says- and bam, he's waterbending the fountain to trap Voldemort. Yeah! This is what a wizard battle is all about. Two genius sorcerers creatively using everything at their disposal yep. to overpower the other. Yep. Seeing this fight was the single greatest thing to ever happen to my 10-year-old self, and I have been chasing that high via wizard games ever since. How's it going, assholes? My name is Estelar J, and the- Alright, I see. Okay. Uh, uh, basically, the, I guess, yeah, the video title is pretty self-explanatory. We're going to look at the state of wizard games. I'm assuming, I'm assuming he's going to say they're a bit disappointing. Uh, I think... World is I, th I think that's what I think that's what we're gonna find from this video. It causes me immense physical pain to admit that Wizard good 101 hat. is probably the most mainstream wizard game ever released. Seriously, never heard of it. Why is that? Well, if 19 years of watching shitty YouTube videos has taught me anything, it's well, I think it's because it's just like you don't have sword games. And okay, no, you kind of do actually. But in general, within games, a wizard is one of the classes you can choose from. It's it's not like people don't tend to make a whole game for it. It's just. It's like, you know, you can be the guy that runs around with a bow, you can be the guy that runs around with a sword, or you can be the guy that runs around with a fucking... It's that shitting on a greedy AAA studio is never a bad starting off point. Skyrim yes, set the bar for wizard combat unfathomably low. The game features over 100 spells with a magic system as vast as an ocean and about as deep as a tweet from Jaden Smith. Not Sorry. We got, we got it. For 100 spells with a magic system as fast as Set it a little too fast. I'm, I'm fucking slow. True leaders James. lead. <laughs> I feel so I feel <coughs> Method acting. Let's go. True leaders lead. I feel so lost in this world. Think for yourself. Have your own opinion. We demand a more progressive view. Oh my god, these are so shit. Who, who the f I don't even know Jaden Smith and he's funny. Oh my god, I went back in the video. For destruction spells, you shoot fire, ice, or lightning in a straight line. There are only two kinds of wizard games. Wizard games with purple lightning and wizard games with yellow lightning. Do not let yourself fall into the purple lightning pipeline. Yellow is clearly superior. Shouts can be categorized into the- You know, true wizard games have both. Funny ragdoll shout and- Hey, but did he just call Terraria a wizard game? See, that's what I mean. I think- the innate prob problem lies with him classifying wizard games, uh, like w classifying magic and wizardry as more than what the games have want it to be. In, in in the games, it's just one of the classes. It's it's just how it's just there's ranged, melee, summoner in case of Terraria, and also wizard like magic. You know, it's just lightning pipeline. Yellow is clearly superior. Shouts yeah. can be categorized into the funny. I actually agree. I think black is the coolest, but. Uh, yeah, it's just personal. Ragdoll yeah. shout, and the rest of them. There are some interesting spells in this game, but they're all utility instead of combat centric. Why do wizard games fall flat? Number one, they need to have variety in their combat. Well, I think utility is actually what makes it, what turns it from being boring to interesting. Because how interesting can you make a combat spell? It has to deal damage. Uh, so 
that's already a fucking one criteria. You can choose, I mean, how big is the AOE range? How much mana does it consume? Do you even want mana in your game? I think there's not that much complexity that can go into an attack. You can make them look unique, but it's going to function one of the few ways, right? Either it's a spell that you have to stand still to cast for five minutes and it's more powerful, or you cast it quicker and it's weaker. Like, there's like a few sliders that are accepted and your your your, your, your wizard game spells are, are going to follow them. And again, how, how do you classify wizard games? I think we should, we, should, we, should, we, should, we should cover that first, but, you know, whatever. That. Think about what made that Harry Potter fight so cool. They threw aside the formula and focused on something much more important. Present! Enter yeah, exactly. Dragon's Presentation. Dogma. I don't know what the fuck dogma means, but it sounds extremely sexual. This game. <laughs> I actually agree, a hundred percent. Dogma. I don't know what the fuck dogma means, but it sounds extremely sexual. Dogma. This dogma game wins the fucking nuts. Nobel Peace Prize for having the coolest looking magic in any video game ever. Just look at the way the sorcerers cast spells, man. Yeah. yeah. I spent two Hell. years learning Japanese for that joke, please subscribe. Unfortunately, yeah. the mage class doesn't scale yeah. very well into the late game, and it's simply more worth your time to pick Ranger, which is coincidentally exactly the same as in Skyrim, where late game wizards are about as useful to the kingdom as YouTubers are to society. Number very. <laughs> right, guys? Am I, am, am I right or am I right? No, but uh, it's just that's pr poor game balancing. I feel like it's not related to the variety problem. Uh, yeah, it's just the game's not being balanced very well. Number two, wizards should be powerful and I should feel cool as fuck for being one. A wizard would just- But not cooler than the other classes, unless the game is solely magic. Because otherwise, it's gonna be everyone's favorite, and then like, you're kinda wasting the other class's potential by making make one too cool. Destroy you in a fight. It's not an episode of anime, motherfucker. Wake the hell up. This fight is the highest level wizard duel we see in all of Harry Potter, and the sheer scale of everything is a huge- To be fair, this, this fight- is the kind of highest level wizard duel we see in all of Harry Potter, and the sheer scale of everything is a huge part of what makes it so enjoyable. At first glance, it seems like Terraria has everything going for it. There's over 70 unique spells, a bunch of armor sets, and hordes of items to change up builds. And actually, uh, except for um, accessorizing, which in Terraria is kind of stupid when it comes to magic, because all you do is you max out... You, you, there's basically a list of essential items that you need to have if you want to do a proper magic build and so and once you have those it doesn't really matter what you, you like and then you just get generic items like the boots that make you faster or fucking wings or whatever the hell so i think that's honestly quite disappointing in terms of accessorizing and getting yourself wizard buffs but the weapons themselves are super varied and fun i think that is one thing you cannot take away from Terraria the variety in the in how you can and what kind of spells you use and at different power levels at, like even at say you're like let's say you're like roughly in the middle of the game progression wise you're gonna have a variety of things to choose from some are surely obviously going to be a little better than others because you can't perfectly balance everything but there's going to be a, a bunch of different spells or you know staffs or tomes or whatever the fuck the the specific weapon you're using is that is good for the specific for different purposes and very cool looking unique looking i think yeah one thing you can't take away from terry is that it does meet the variety thing a hundred uh, like it it that's a it, that's a check mark for sure extremely well if you have the classes check it out chad i call this my gaydar oh yeah like this okay, this th like that thing is badass it goes <gasps> I actually consider this to be one of the better magic games out there, but its fatal flaw is that there's just not enough going on. For every single spell in the entire game, you just mouse one the enemy until it dies. Wizard combat- Well, yeah, but that's how all combat in Terraria works, like, uh, at the end of the day. Except for Summoner, because Summoner is super fucking cool. Oh, no, they made Summoner like that with the recent patches that- or, well, 1.4. The whips fucking ruined it. <laughs> Hot take. No, I think whips are super cool. They're good. But with how often you have to swing them. The idea with summon is that you're supposed to summon your fucking things and then run around and run away from your creatures. The fact that you then have to stand close to the enemy and whip them while standing in place instead of running away as your class is supposed to do while letting the summons do all the work. Like, why Why am I whipping them? That's supposed to be my fucking minion's job. It should be more complex than fucking cookie clicker. Yeah, but that's how all, all combat, combat inter-area works. Again, except for summoner, but they fucking ruined it. 
There's very little incentive to switch to other weapons to create combos because of my least favorite part of any wizard game, mana. The problem with mana bars is that they incentivize players to use only their most powerful spells over and over again, lest they risk wasting mana on a worse weapon. At yes. most, you might switch and to a second. And in Terraria, mana kind of uh, stops being a problem once you have a uh, a good setup going. Like, uh, well, well, once you have the right accessory combo and enough mana potions. Your mana pretty much becomes endless. Uh, you still get the damage penalty, but that's that's another topic. That's just that's just bad game design. <coughs> but I think the core problem is the way mana works. In my opinion, right? I we'll see what he has to say, of course. Uh, I, and I'm actually pretty curious what what he what he thinks the right solution is. But in my opinion, the way mana sh works should be completely remade, basically from fucking uh, from scratch, right? In the current state. It's a pool that goes down, and whenever you drink a potion, it goes back up. And you keep spamming your spell, and if your mana goes down, then you either wait around, or if you have enough mana potions, it instantly goes back up, and you just keep going through the potions. Now, that sounds all fine and dandy, but what that means is, yeah, as he said, you're just uh, kind of going to be using the best thing you got. You have no reason to switch. Now, if uh, the delay, if your mana pool was way bigger but also took way more time to recover i could maybe see you wanting to like okay so I have this much mana in my mana pool so my plan is to do this specific spell combo where i shoot fucking seven laser bolts and then one armor reduction bolt or whatever the fuck and just 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 give you a reason to throw combos outside of literally just all right i'll use all my debuff spells okay and and then i'll just spam the best thing i have weapon for like yeah, but my solution won't even work for that. So, really, I don't know what One the solution would be. Apply Icar or some other debuff. Yeah, exactly. Going right back to your main. I personally. But I think that's not a problem with mana. That's how using a good weapon works. Like we'll say, we'll look at a different class, right? Ranger. You're still. You're just gonna use the gun that has the highest DPS against the specific type of boss that you want to to be used for. The highest DPS or the, the most versatility. Maybe it's a kind of boss that summons a bunch of random shit to fly all over the screen. Then you're gonna want to use a gun that has like some homing ability or wide AOE explosions to take care of the little shits while you're fighting the boss. You're not gonna have a reason to keep switching. I think it's not a problem with wizard games. It's a problem with how games are like combat is made in games. Full stop. I find cooldown based magic much more fun. Obviously you're gonna have that one spell. Yeah, cooldown, cooldown, exactly, okay. That's what I was. That's the solution. Cooldowns. How did I think of that? Holy shit. Uh, that's obvious. Rest. And obviously, you're going to want to use that spell over and over and over. But when it goes on cooldown, you're forced to adapt. You're forced to find exactly. creative ways to incorporate your other and, spells into a combo. And it gives you a reason to have more than one weapon. Like, you grind out for that one really good weapon, but after you use it, it's going to be on cooldown. And then you have a reason to go grind for another one. Now, granted, that could add for too much grind, and uh, that's just a matter of game balancing at that point. Spell while you wait for your big cheese spell to refresh. Spellbreak decided to mix the two. You can equip two of six gauntlets, each of which... Wait, seriously? Only six? This game is out for four years and you only thought of six spells? No fucking wonder they're shutting the servers down, you idiots. Yeah. Each gauntlet you pick up has a primary attack and a special attack. The special attack has a cooldown and your primary attack shares a mana bar with your double jump. The cooldown on special moves is definitely better than linking them to the mana bar, but because you only get two spells, there's no real combos you can pull off. You yeah, yeah, you, you just use the one thing, and then when, while that's on cooldown, use the other thing, and then that's that is, yeah, the first one is no longer a cooldown, so you switch back to the first one. And it's an infinite cycle. Also, this guy's using the pure vessel theme. To create special effects, but most of them just equal extra damage. I think this game could have been a lot more fun if you picked each individual spell instead of having them packaged together by element. Keep the delay on primary attacks as it is, but lower their damage, add some spells with medium length cooldown, and then keep the specials exactly how they are. This would make fights significantly more complex and prevent people from getting bored. Also, tap yep. into people's microphones and make the wolf blood rune last longer if I howl at it. Oh, I see him, I see him. Number three, the magic system <laughs> no, needs to be complex. Don't. The laser beam duels in Harry Potter are the equivalent of holding mouse one in your last prism in Terraria. They're boring because they're too simple. V versus D through all right, of but, the window. Right, but it looks fucking sick. I don't think I know a single person that doesn't like using last prism. They're boring because they're too simple. V versus D threw all of that out the window, and for a wizard game to be fun, the exact same thing needs to happen. But is it possible for a wizard game to be too complex? Yes. Yes. 
very much yes. yes. The amount of spells and spell interactions. I can't think of any examples, but yeah, there's a. In a just, wizard game is directly proportional to the amount of crack cocaine ingested during the development process. This is the universal like law of wizard games, and if it is to be believed, then we're going to need a fucking SWAT raid on Nala Games as soon as humanly possible because Noita is fucking insane. Yeah, Noita, Noita. How does Noita that work? Let's you create your own weapons by mixing spells together. If I was the developers, <laughs> I would add an Among Us spell. Appeal to younger audience. Check. <laughs> As you play the game, you'll find her by wands Fuck yes. equip different spells. To them. Among Wait us a minute, sus. Joe, your wand shoots and bursts forth a one second delay between them. Why? Okay, well, that's because this particular wand has a cast delay of 0.22 seconds, but a recharge okay. time of one full second. You see, the cast delay is the time it takes for the wand to go from one spell to the next. Yeah. It's slow here, so it fires fast. The reason for the delay between shots is the recharge time, which is the time it takes for the wand to cycle from the last spell in the series back to the beginning. That makes sense. This wand also shuffles the order of your spells, which makes your wand inconsistent because you won't always be landing on your spell modifier. Oh, yeah, of course. The spell modifier is a special spell that changes the effect of whatever spell you slot directly to the right of it. It does not change the effect of the entire wand, as you'd be forgiven for assuming based on the incredibly vague descriptions. There's also regular spells with modifier spells hooked in that activate after a certain amount of time or hitting an enemy or wall. Now, if that sounds overly complex, convoluted, and confusing... That sounds like a system that's potentially not even that bad, but is just not explained well in a game. In the game. That, that would be my guess, at least. That's because it is. But it's okay because the game teaches you exactly none of that. Yeah, <laughs> Bro, I am built different for this. Never played Noita, by the way. Only watched, like, some, like, very short videos on it. Is this a fucking joke? I currently have about 10 hours in this game, and I can say with confidence that at least that I have no. Time I can say with confidence that in 10 hours, you'll have no the no fucking clue what you're doing. We spent sitting in this dumbass temple between levels, just figuring out how to make my wand half decent. And that's just the spell system. I haven't even scratched the surface of how good Right, but yeah, but Noita is... Is just... I, should we watch a video on Noita after this one? I feel like we should. Using this game is. One time I spent literally 30 minutes figuring out a crazy luminous drill one, and then I died in one shot because I stepped in some <laughs> random fucking puddle that turned me into a sheep. Are you kidding me? I am not here to give you my entire uncensored thoughts on Noita, but I think yeah. it's hard to argue that this game couldn't benefit from a little bit of simplification. It is not or explanation. a good sign when the first two YouTube results for Noita Beginner's Guide are an hour long. There's a fucking <laughs> flowchart that I found that explains the alchemy system in Noita. Oh, what the awesome. What am I even looking at? That's so good. Unlike Harry Potter, I do not I kind of want to see it. Let's Noita. have a look what at it. Why, why are we watching in 480p? I'm sorry. Fuck. Oh, Jesus. Am I even Actually, no, I don't want to look at it. Unfortunately, that, unlike no, Harry Potter, I do not wish to spend eight years of my life learning how to cast magic. Like, would it fucking kill you to add a tutorial? Number four, the magic system needs... Yeah, this is this is a wiki game. This is the kind of game that you need to play with a wiki. ...needs to be accessible. These wizards didn't spend 30 minutes in a Naruto flashback theorizing about what spells to use. They just... Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the source of my frustration. It is so hard to find a game that balances all of these elements... Hey, I will fuck you up, whoever threw that. You ever been dive bomb before, asshole? It is not. Yeah, but what game is it? I can't tell. I'm this? fucking blind. Oh yeah, I forgot Wizard of Legend exists. Holy shit, he's a fucking firebender! Look at that rock move, dude! I gotta try. I gotta use that one. Wizard of Legend is the coolest fucking magic game of all Yo. time. One of the best roguelikes I've ever played. No, it's a fucking roguelike. Man, that's kind of sad. I I love. Spells, I, a relic I just don't one like Remember when I tried to change Spellbreak's magic? Well, I was actually just describing this game's magic system word for word, and it was the greatest band. Oh, right, that, yeah, fair enough. Ain't none of these spells clones of each other. Here's one that turns your fists into dragons. Here's one that makes you the Avatar. Here's one that makes you a Beyblade. Variety, check. Yeah, but see the Fist Avatar and, and the Beyblade spell. See Avatar. this one? Here's one that makes you a Versus this one? <coughs> sure, they'll have different stats on them, but they're functionally the same. You just start spinning and damage things in a circle around you. You need variety visually, but I feel like so long as it's an attack spell, it's gonna, it is gonna be kind of limited with what you can do with it. Variety check. All right, but that's fucking sick. Just gonna check that one off too while yes. I'm at it. I remember the first time I thought of a cool build idea. I unlocked this spell, which lets you roleplay as everyone's favorite avatar character, the drill. And I realized, Whoa. Hey, this drill hits like 15 times in one go. And then I realized, wait a minute, Dark Katana triples crit chance for melee attacks. And then I realized, hey, And the drill a is technically a melee attack. And this robe increases my crit chance and- See, but no, this is just a fucking, um, the, what's the opposite of a diss? 
a a positive video on on roguelikes i, th I think this is this is not necessarily innate to wizard Damage. stuff there are so many synergies and ways to become overpowered as shit. You always get to start with four really good spells that complement the rest of your kit perfectly, but because of the randomized loot and cooldowns, you are forced to get creative with how you tackle enemies. And that level of unpredictability is also what makes it so satisfying when you do get a god run. Any spell that looks like dog shit can become broken as shit if you put enough thought into your build. That's fair. Unless it's a summon, don't ever use those. Fuck you, I'm putting two check marks. In Wizard of Legend, just casting yep. a spell is enough to know exactly what it does. The complexity comes from the player's own ability to create combos, avoid damage. Well, I think that's how spells should work. Bottom text, aside for fucking Noita, because I don't know, it's a sick game made for sick bastards. The spell is enough to know exactly what it does. The complexity comes from the player's own ability to create combos, avoid damage, and make decisions, not from the magic system itself, yeah. which significantly lowers the skill floor while only slightly lowering the skill ceiling. <gasps> Yetzi! Yetzi! But also, yeah, this it's game has you using like eight different spells at the same time. Or, well, only That's uh, a pretty big part of it. <gasps> Yetzi! Yetzi! It is literally a perfect game. <laughs> okay, perfect games don't exist. But basically yeah. what I'm saying with this video is that if you fuck up Hogwarts Legacy, I'm busting out the Chevy Silverado and I'm driving... We all know Hogwarts Legacy like, ain't gonna be as complex in terms of a good wizard system i saw the fucking video of of combat in that game it's just a guy shooting a spell and then uh, that's the sound of me drinking a potion right you go slurp juice slurp juice I'll just follow me on twitch if you got a big ass see ya chevy silverado and i'm driving straight through your kitchen subscribe if you like mills follow me on twitch if you got a big ass boys please subscribe to his channel and Follow him on Twitch because we all we all have we all have a pretty big ass. <laughs> I don't, uh, yeah. All right. I wanna I wanna add something to this. Uh, I think what this video made me think of isn't that the state of wizard games is bad as a whole, or <coughs> or it didn't even make me think of the state of wizard games. What what it made me realize is that game devs just don't think hard enough about the combat systems they make and that is really bizarre like you're ma you're spending so much time making a game dedicate a little bit extra to fleshing out a combat system to be fun logically like just think about it on the surface like no sorry not on the surface like i am i'm making a game where i'm gonna have a guy use magic right we'll look at we'll look at hogwarts legacy so, if magic is the primary thing, then we're gonna need mana for everything. Well, that's how that's how that's how that game works, at least. All right. So, how do we solve mana? Do we have you collect special spells that you need to cast mid fight at the right time? Maybe to maybe it's a spell that will reduce your mana cost usage for any spell that costs below a specific amount, and then you can you can do some fun combo with like you know low cost spells. That no, you're gonna drink a mana potion. Like, yeah, I haven't played the game, so I don't actually know. Like, is there more more depth to it? Maybe, uh, but the memes I saw didn't make, didn't make me think so. You know what? Actually, I don't care if I'm wrong because the comments will be sure to correct me, and uh, and uh, I de I definitely am not just trying to boost my engagement in this video. All right, go hit up his 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 shit. Uh, subscribe, uh, like this video, all of that. Do do everything. Hit up his socials. That's in the description. Uh, hit up my main channel. I don't post that often there, but when I do post, it's bangers. Uh, one's actually coming out relatively soon, within a couple months, which is soon for my channel. Trust me. And hit and subscribe to this one, why don't you? All right. See you next time.